Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon. I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me, checking me out. Um, Today, basically, I'm just going to take you on a ride about some of the things that I've been using recently to record a lot of my videos. I've been partnering with a lot of companies out there trying to do a few reviews. I don't, You know, guys, I'm not really big on reviews. Um, I really don't like to do, do things or use things um, without having used it myself or I haven't actually put it in a live photo shoot to actually see how it performs and behaves before I actually give you guys my honest opinion. But today I've been definitely using a few things in my last few videos that have turned out to work amazingly. And I wanted to share those few things with you guys. These few things might be able to help you improve the quality and overall look of your um, studio uh, or YouTube channel. Basically, if you guys are out there and you're trying to film and you're trying to do some, you know, things at home, lighting, you know, things like that. I have a few things that I have got that I've received from a few companies that might be able to help you out with that. So stay tuned. Let's check out a few things that I've got. All right, guys, so check it out. We're going to jump right into it. I'm not going to make this video go on long because I know you guys can go out there. You can YouTube a lot of this stuff, and people like to go really, really in-depth on a lot of this stuff that I'm about to talk about. I'm not going to do that here today. I just want you to hear and see the quality for yourself. Um, but the first thing that we're going to talk about is the sound quality. Now, I've used a lot of shotgun mics before, especially to do a lot of my videos. One of the microphones that I used to use a lot is right here. This is the Deity um, microphone S Mic 2. I used to use this one a lot for a lot of my videos, especially when I got in uh, to using shotgun microphones and carnival microphones and things like that and to do my you know talking overhead I didn't really use this for voiceovers um, but I've kind of noticed that the quality compared to a lot of other shotgun microphones out there it just wasn't up to par with a lot of the competition out there it's a good microphone now of course there's things that you can do and levels and things like that but you know for a lot of us a lot of times you just like to buy this gear and you just want it to work and you just want it to sound good so actually um, as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of work with Cinco. So Cinco also actually has a microphone. It's called the Mic D2, and this is it right here. It is a super um, hyper corduroy microphone also. It comes in this pretty cool little case right here. And I am talking to you on it right now. And as you can hear, you can hear the quality of this uh the Cinco microphone. Now, I had a, little, a few problems with their, um, you know, their microphone, their wireless lavalier um, system that they have out. But when so far since I've used this shotgun microphone they had, this thing sounds absolutely amazing. The, a lot of people say it's really on par uh, with the Sennheiser um, 416, which is one of the best, you know, shotgun hypercarder hypercardio microphones that you can get right now but the quality that comes out of this Cinco uh, microphone is absolutely amazing and this is my go-to shotgun mic as you can see right now is overhead with me I'm probably about nah, about uh, about a foot and a half away um, but you get really really good audio with this with the shotgun mic and I was really really surprised uh, when I heard when I played it back and I heard a bunch of my videos that I recorded it with definitely this is one of the ones that you want to look at if you don't if you're on a budget and you don't really want to pay a lot of money for something like the Sennheiser or you know a lot of other ones that are out there on the market right now like the N2G, NTGs a lot of those are kind of pricey for the really really good ones they're kind of pricey um, the this Cinco one is absolutely incredible. This is one of the ones that I will give Cinco uh, definitely a clap and a pat on the back for making a really really good uh, shotgun microphone here. So if you haven't saw it, go check it out. I'm gonna put this description in the comment section below. Go check it out. Use my links, man. And like I said, this is a really really good microphone. This thing is on par with some of the best. Okay, guys. So. One of the other things is definitely about, especially when you're making YouTube videos, just making videos at home, the, besides the sound quality of your video, one of the most other important things about making a video is the lighting, all right? You got to know how to set up lighting, whether it be a main light, whether it be a fill light, whether it be a rim light to kind of separate you from the background. You got to know your lighting. 
there's a lot of lights out there, especially LED continuous lighting. Um, that is really, really good. Some are more expensive than others. Um, some can do a few different things. You have lights that have continuous lighting. Then you have some that are bicolor that has a, you know, you can adjust the Kelvin, Kelvin or whatever to match your skin tones or match the, match the um, quality or color in the room. Um, and then you also have some that are like RGB that are that that is really really great so you can add lighting and lighting effects and things that's kind of like what you see in the background right now and i'm going to get to that that's going to be my third one um but right now some of the, i've i use a lot of led i have like the 120d um by Op aperture um but a lot of times i don't like to carry and put that big thing on and put a soft box on it and stuff like that i just want to set up an led that has really really nice soft light that you're going to be able to see me and i can do a lot of different things with it i like when my leds are bicolor because i can adjust it so it's not really hot on my face i can cool the temperature down and it comes out with some really really nice color and i like the uh, i now want to make sure the color accuracy is really really good that's some of the things that you're looking at when you look into getting a led um to help you you know bring you out when you're doing videos like this so one of the uh, another company gvm which is great video maker i've done some reviews on some of the products that they have but they sent me um two leds that i really like and this is what you're kind of seeing the lighting coming from right now and i'll show you uh what it looks like this is the led panel now i used to use a lot of circle i mean i'm sorry a lot of square led panels which is the most common on the market today get you a led panel normally they're like a rectangular shape or you know like a square shape so i've always been in the market to find a more circular led panel and this one by great video maker is really great this is the um this is a circular led um, I'll show you what the back looks like here. Um, it, you can put in two MP batteries right here. It does have a the Kelvin, the Kelvin knob right here. It has your intensity or your brightness over here. Um, you have your mode reset and you also have a LED panel um, right here. It's not a lot to it. You can also plug it up um, through um, AC power adapter or like I said, you can have two uh, MP batteries. But what i really like about this led the most is that you can tilt it down like this it comes on this nice amazing swivel you can tilt it up like this and it's really small and compact and i'll show you the size of it look how thin it is it's thin like this bam bam you see that um and that's actually what i'm um that's actually what i'm uh filming on right now and I'll give you like a little bit of BTS about, you know, the whole setup and kind of like what it looks like. But I'm using one as a, a main light over here and one that's a little bit cooler that's giving you that real light look over here. And I know that it gives you a, it gives you a nice, soft, proper exposure. And I really, really like this thing. And they're really small. Um, so big shout out to great video maker sending me these. These are something I love to use in my videos now it's to set them up nice and soft i can tilt them down and whatever and even if i do a product review if i want to sit something down on the table um i can swivel it tilt it down look at it and it just gives you that really really nice quality or i can use two of them and tilt them in and give you a good shot on something like that so, um with really nice lighting adjust the color temperature and things like that i do wish they was rgb if they were rgb it'd be amazing these are 10 inch um, L, um, circular LED panels. I'll put the model number, the model name, the description, and everything down in the bottom, um, and the price and everything with the, uh, how these go over and the Cinco and everything that I'm putting in. But these things are just absolutely incredible. I love them. Big shout out to Great Video Maker, man. If you guys haven't seen these, you're in the market for LED panels. Definitely give these things a look. Um, you don't have to have something really big and compact. The intensity, the brightness, the Kelvin, everything is good on these, man. So go check them out and let me know what you guys think. Right. The last thing that we're going to talk about are RGB lights. All right, guys. So for the final part of this little YouTube setup and what I got going in here is some nice little colors, some nice little RGB lights. Um, so 
on the market today, because I always want to talk about today and what's out on the market today. I have RGB lights that I probably include in everything that I do now. I found them on Amazon. They are absolutely incredible. I think the battery light, I think the battery inside is like 2700 milli uh, mAh or milliamps or something like that. But this right here is the Hajibus light wand. Okay. Um, on the back, you have a button for to change the colors. I mean, and this is really, really basic. That's all this is. Change the color, increase intensity, lower intensity. If I turn, if I hold the button, you can see I'm like putting it in the, I can put it on my face right now. And you can see the colors, how they change right now. And they really, really bright. So if you guys saw a lot of my videos, I used this in one of the videos last time where I um, had two of these and I was using these on one of my models. I like them so much, I bought three of them. So now I have three of these RGB lights to add that color, to get creative, to do something with these things. And I love them. That's kind of like what you're seeing, the blue and kind of like the purple mix behind me. Love these things, man. So if you guys are looking to do something or guys are looking to set something up, microphone, LED for lighting, and a little bit of color in the background. Now you don't necessarily have to have color. I just like color in my um, in my videos and in my background. Um, that's pretty much it. So these are my top three things that I would recommend to anybody looking to get um, set up a little YouTube studio or you know if you're just trying to do something at home, film something. You want a really good microphone that is really competing with some of the big dogs on the market right now definitely check out the Cinco. You can hear the quality in it. You want some lights or um, LEDs right now that are really, really powerful. Um, you know, have a really good Kelvin. You know, they're bicolor, small, they're circular, because there's a difference between the circular ones and the square ones. Definitely check out these by a great video maker. And then if you want to get some light wands and you want to get something creative and you know turn and twist and boom, or just take these on location with you. Take these anywhere, man. These things can really these you can do some really creative things with these light wands. Definitely go check these out, man. But I want to thank you guys for checking this out. I like doing these little vlogs. I always say vlogs. I like doing these little vlogs, man. And I'm going to try to do a few more of these before we head out. All right. So until next time, man, comment, like, and subscribe. Everything that I talked about will be in the description below. And remember, definitely use the links, man. It goes to help my channel and to help bring you guys more content, let you guys know what's out on the market today, what I use um, in my studio, um, and how I might help you guys out. All right. Holla at your boy. Peace. We out.